Hello everybody and welcome back to my uh, vlog, my channel. Now this circuit is a pre-amplifier circuit. I bought it from AliExpress. I'll show you that in a minute, we'll go over it quickly. Um, and I just want to say it was uh, really easy to build. Uh, everything's laid out nicely, all the components feel nice. There is one little thing and it says that it comes with Alps potentiometers and this one's an alp potentiometer and it's more expensive than these ones uh, but these ones are song now it came with three songs and i thought well i'm going to put in an alps and just see if there's much difference on there we'll be able to have a look there is a slight uh, thing there but um apart from that all the components are as they are they've got Nick, um, nichicon uh, capacitors, it's ELA capacitors, you know, all the parts seem to be pretty good. I'm not sure now if I should be swapping out these carbon type um, resistors with metallized resistors because the carbons are like generally sort of like you know, 10% and the metallized ones are 1%. But just for now, we're going to leave it like this. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to change this one at all. But uh, yeah, but it was, you know, pretty easy to, to put together and um, everything's on there as you'd want. Now, I've put a wire across here and it's come down to this ground point here because it tells you to do that in the, in the write-up to it if you're not going to put it in the case. And just for now, it's not going in the case, so that's fine. There are only two, there are only two mounting points. There's no mounting points on the corners, like, as you can see. There's only two mounting points, and that's one's here, and that's in the ground plane for the ground, and that is connected to ground. I did a test between there and these. And then there's one, another mounting point here. This doesn't actually connect to anything at the top or underneath. It's isolated. So there are its mounting points. I presume this one you put into the, you know, connect it to your metal frame. And um, that would be grounded, and you'd have ground, because I do believe... I should check it, but I do believe that this ground is going to be the same as this ground. Anyways, so what I've done is I've connected it up to this. So we got our um, we've got our waveform generator here, the output here, and all I've done is I've just tied two of these together. So we've got two outputs from the same waveform generator um, output channel. So we know that they're going to be exactly the same. And I've got my two probes on the outputs. At the minute, I've got a 33K on here. Um, now, the reason why I've gone for 33K is because the input impedance on the amplifiers that I've built, they are 22K. And on the, let's say, the new new NAD 3020, because this is what this is supposed to be a replica of, is the NAD 3020 preamplifier from back in the 70s. But the new NAD, the D3020, uh, that's got a 56K input. So I just thought, well, I'll just do something in the middle because I could mess around with 1K, you know, 10K, 22K, and go through like that. But who's got the time? And um, I mean, maybe in the future I'll do it here, but I'm not going to do it all on camera. I'll just, you know, tell if there's any differences, if it's notable or anything like that. Uh, you can see that they've got two channels here two identical channels. I don't know if you notice that, you've got your filter caps coming in and you've got these two voltage regulators. Um, and then you've got one, basically one channel, two caps here, one cap, two caps, these transistors, which are actually doing the push-pull uh, side of this. And then you've got exactly the same one going through here, which is pretty good. And all the rest of this sort of stuff is for the tone control and uh, but yeah, so it's it's a, a nice, neat little board. It's very well laid out, um, from what I can tell, and uh, it's just a it's just a neat board. I'm messing around with the lighting because I don't it does my head in on that thing there. I got my own shadow in, I think. Not sure. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. Here is the actual advert on AliExpress. This is the one that I bought. There are quite a few different ones on there, um, and the prices do vary, but. I like to think I look around for a bargain. And here, you know, here it is. 
It's all nice. Now this is the bit where it says here, look, with Alps potentiometer. Okay, and it doesn't. It has these song ones. Um, what the differences are from what I can tell is price. Um, and maybe a bit of quality. Now here's the image where these shows on here the, the cable going across between these potentiometers and here's cable comes around and goes down into that uh, there is actually a hole there on purpose so I presume that's just where you ground it to um, and that's what I've done I've just copied that just to make life easy for myself as you can see look it does come as a kit but it's a lovely board. The board feels nice. Everything, you know, feels nice on it. It's um, a lovely little board. So we got some um, bits in here that you gotta uh, consider, and that is one of the things is the voltage here. AC, twenty-four volt, zero volt, twenty-four volt. Now I don't have that, but it does say here: be careful, brother. You must watch. One, the power supply voltage shall not be lower than AC dual 22 volts. All right, and that's what I'm using. I'm using a 22 volts. I don't have a 24, 0, 24. If you are only listening to the bare board, you must connect all the potentiometer enclosures with wires. That's what I just showed you. And then connect them to ground at the power terminal on the board. Now, it's not gone through to the power terminal, it's gone through to that grounding point, like I said. Um, which happens just to be here. There's a hole there. And that's ground straight off this cap. As you can see, it's got the stripe there, that's the ground side. So that's where I've done mine to. And in the image here as well, he's done the, he's done the same thing to the I hope you can see that bit. If you look it up, you can see a bit better for yourselves. Um, and the audio signal wires must be shielded wire. If it's installed into a chassis, please refer to one point grounding. All right. So basically, um, I've not used shielded on the input. I'm just using this. Uh, and these are not shielded. <laughs> no. Uh, they're the cheapest ones I could possibly find. They're not shielded. So if there is little bits in there, you've got to expect maybe a little bit of... Uh, but I can't see anything. And we're going we're gonna to look at that in a minute. I can't see anything, I just got some close ups of the board and a bit some pieces. Okay, so guys, so what we got here then is um, we've got it connected up. Now, what I've done is I've decided to go and use 22k resistors for my dummy load for this pre amplifier. Why have I chosen 22k? Well, because this is one of the amplifiers that I've built, and we can see. As we look across here, that down there, going from the input to ground, the first resistor is 22K. So that's going to be our um, our input impedance. And, uh, and this here will be our load impedance, this 1K. So that's why I've chosen to use 22K, because if I was going to you know, connect this up, marry it up to an amplifier, it was going to be one of these ones because they're the ones I think are the greatest ones if you want to build them. Um, I mean, if you're serious about wanting to build a little amplifier that's easy to build, this is the one to go for, because it sounds really, really nice. Now, even though it's asked for 24, 0, 24 volts going in, I can only provide it with 22, 0, 22. So, i got to work with what we got. I'm going to be using the old uh, Digilent Discovery, uh, Analog Discovery 2. Um, to take the measurements of this. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys, so we're gonna just uh, put some power in on this. There we go, so we've got some power. We'll run our waveform gen. We've got the scope running already. Let's just put this at around about, let's say, two mini volts. Um, we're gonna start just turning up the volume. So our input volume all the way up on the potentiometer on this. And I'm going to start putting some actual input into it. So as you can see, we're going up and up and up. Yep. All right, we're going off here. All I want to do is just have a little look and just see what, what sort of input we can put in. Now, the highest I can go onto this set at um, one times is 5 volts, which I, should, I think should be enough. 
uh, for a preamplifier. Uh, we can see we're clipping at the top. Let me just um, a bit easier to see. Now you can see there, look, clipping at the top, which is good. That's the good clipping. We like that sort of clipping. I'll give a bit of extra, you know. Yeah, the rule of thumb seems to be bottom clipping not very good, top clipping better than bottom clipping. Yeah, see so if we can clip top first. That's that's better apparently. So yeah, so we got that. Let's back it off. To, there's no clipping, and we can see on the FFT. Look, I mean, look how bad that gets. Let's see on the FFT when that all that drops down. Ooh, to there. Okay, we're good. We got uh, about 13 volts there. Um, RMS um, peak 37 volts and 37 volts. So that's pretty good going. So let's just tighten this up a little bit and have a little look at this. We can see uh, we're uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.7 uh, minus 0 0.8, 0 0.7, not quite one on there. And we're into minus 70, minus 78, minus 71, minus 79. Uh, minus um, 82, 83. So this is all very low down there. The noise floor down here is really, really low. I'm talking like, uh, you know, 110 plus, which is pretty good. Well, that is good, isn't it? That's, uh, that is pretty good. Right, so let's just uh, back this down a little bit. Let's say we keep it round about there. And we'll just swap this back to let's say about there and we'll do a sweep just have a little look what it looks like on a sweep so here we have it uh, sweep there um, we've got one volt going in here and we could probably make that just look a bit bigger by dropping this down to one volt it's probably a bit far actually from five there we go and we get to two volts on here as well and so we can see what we're looking for is, you know, does, does it do anything here? Does it does it fluctuate on its amplitude? I mean, it certainly doesn't. It does not. Not even in the tens of um, millivolts. It doesn't. Which and I know it's not a power amplifier, but it's, ah, it's nice to look at. It's nice to look at. So, well, that's that. That's that's what we can do, really. I mean. Whew. I can connect it up to something to have a little listen and I'll do that but I'll do it on another video and I know it's like but these videos get too long else it's it's just no good them being too long let's put this back here to let's say there a bit of a look at that like that so looking all the way through this lane looks pretty good looks pretty good Yep, that's it then. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, if you got this far and it was interesting in any sort of way, that's brilliant. And um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.